And continuing our Team 7 coverage, Storm Track 7 meteorologist Kyle Keel, of course, with us this morning, helping with our coverage. You were here in the forecast center as these storms were tracking through. So, so fast forward to this morning, what's mm -hmm. the biggest concern right now as, as folks are waking up? As everyone's waking up, you've seen from Amanda and Denise's live shots from Marshalltown this morning, there's a lot of people heading into town to clean up. And of course, this storm did major damage. It's knocked down a lot of trees, a lot of power lines, so we likely have a lot of snap power lines that are on the ground. We never want to go up to those, don't want to touch them, don't want to drive over them. Uh, lots of damage, of course, here in Marshalltown. And of course, as Denise mentioned, people are recommended to not come into town today as we have emergency personnel that will be uh, coming in to clean up some of the damage. And we've also got the National Weather Service. They're going to be out surveying the damage. You can see from this home, this was once a three-story home. Uh, notice we've only got two levels here. The third story was knocked off from the tornado. You can also see some of the shutters and siding have also been ripped, up, uh, ripped off of the home. Another picture from meteorologist Denise Pelser again. She was there about 20 minutes to a half hour after the storm. Look at this car. It's surrounded by debris. You can see some damaged homes in the distance. The wood going through the front end of the car. It's just an incredible scene here. And then you can also see that windshield was again completely uh, demolished here from that tornado. Also another Another home we see here, you can see that the drywall is uh, piled up here outside of the home. Uh, the home taking on some serious damage. A couple of people out there, uh, perhaps the homeowners, uh, maybe they were, uh, they, they do look like that they were safe, so that was uh, some pretty good news. And here we are looking at a photo down a street. Now, this is uh, 3rd Avenue, and that is Bromley Street. And I, I got to tell you, when I first saw this photo yesterday, I, I just was speechless because, I mean, you could just see all of the devastation. Uh, just down the road. You can see several homes and, and roofs damaged there. So a lot of cleanup going on here in Marshalltown. And we saw in Denise's live report that crews are out at that Casey's in Marshalltown this morning. You just can't even tell that it's a Casey's because all of the windows were shattered by the wind just uh, sucking the glass out of that uh, out of that Casey's general store. And you can notice that the signs are off too. And uh, there's several pieces of wood on the ground as well. So that is the issue here this morning. Uh, we've got pieces of debris scattered all about, see broken glass on the roadways as well. And of course, we've got power lines that are also on the ground as well, which as we mentioned, you never want to cross a power line with your vehicle or go up to touch it, uh, even if it is on the ground, because that could still uh, be live and cause electrocution. So you just want to stay safe if you are not in the Marshalltown area. Uh, best to stay out of the area as crews continue their cleanup process. Daniel, Allie.